Yo, I'm EZ. And we're in WA. Like, we got a real controversial song coming out called F*** the Police. What is that talking about? Self-explanatory. The police. The police. All police ain't bad police, just like 90% of them. You know, the and, we're, the and we're talking yeah. about that 90%. With one song, N.W.A. vented the frustrations of our entire generation. The police. The police. The a young nigga got it back because I'm brown. Yeah, f the police, please. Go, f the police. Yeah, finally somebody got enough courage just to come out and just say I'm it. Searching my car, looking for the product, thinking every nigga is selling narcotics. That was our outlet. That was our voice. The conditions were just horrible. Nobody was saying anything, so somebody had to say something, and they stepped forward. Have you ever been harassed? Of course. What have, All what's the happened? time. Everybody. Snaps out of my car, guns to my head, on the freeway, laid down. A little everything. I mean, that's all we did the song. The Police was a song that was a unification song for anybody that's in the streets. Hey, it's time to stand up and ride out. And N.W.A. was basically saying, we're going to lead the parade. Without a gun in the bag, what do you got? A sucker in a uniform waiting to get shot by me or another again. Do you pretend that these kind of police brutality and stuff like that don't happen in their city? You know what they saying? They saying that we're infesting their kids to believe that cops are bad. And we just tell the truth. They awakened Los Angeles to an old identity Los Angeles forgot about. Los Angeles knows how to revolutionize something, no question. But they forgot it. Hip hop came out and reminded LA that you are gangster, but you are revolutionary. The police! The police! NWA gave us a voice. Hey, just leave a the mother police. And on the afternoon of April 29, 1992, it became our battle cry. The politicians declared their war on drugs. We will get the message to the potential user that drug use will no longer be tolerated. And Police Chief Daryl Gates started taking desperate measures. My message to all rock dealers is get out of business and get out of town. And a battering ram was a tank. These motherfuckers was really, uh, like, arrogant. And they just drive this right through your house. It's hard, but those kids was in there. They could have been killed. Small, small, you're on candy camera. Gates launched the crash program, creating specialized SWAT units to target gangs. And every black and Latino kid in the hood was viewed as a suspect. They just started pulling off swashes of, of young black men and putting them on the corner and then processing them. And there were these days and weeks in which thousands, literally thousands of people went to jail. You're presumed guilty until proven innocent. They're gonna sweat you every time they see you. You know, it's, it's harassment, man, you know, for no reason. They did what they want. You know, they just stop by Jack. Everybody, you know, plant drugs, you know, that has happened quite a few times. That's what the hatred came from because they started being dirty, you know. They can kill you and don't have to have no reason. Hip hop became the outlet for our anger.